Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the April Patch Tuesday security update that rolled out for Windows 11 24H2 last week, KB5055523 has not been without its issues, as I posted on a couple of days ago, where the first issue was that Microsoft had confirmed that the update was breaking Windows alone for some users, and I'll leave that video linked down below and also the video for the update last week, both of those will be linked in the description and in the end screen. Now, once again, the update is playing up because Microsoft has confirmed yet another issue that the update is causing, where Microsoft says that after installing this update, 5055523, and restarting your device, you might encounter a blue screen that's the dreaded blue screen of death, with error code 0x18b indicating a secure kernel error. So that's what you should be seeing in the error code. Now, although this has been happening, and there have been one or two reports during the rounds online, mainly in forums and feedback hubs where this issue has been affecting quite a few users after the update has rolled out. I've even seen one or two comments on the channel, so I'm actually glad now that Microsoft has officially confirmed this. And the good news is if you are experiencing this issue with this error after installing last week's Patch Tuesday update, then Microsoft has actually resolved the issue using a known issue rollback. Now, known issue rollback, just a quick recap, is a Windows servicing improvement that enables Microsoft to revert a single targeted fix to a previously released behavior if a critical regression is discovered. Now that's quite a mouthful, but basically it means that it's something Microsoft does from their side. You don't have to go and install and look for another update. It all takes place in the background. And it can take though up to 24 hours for the resolution to propagate automatically to consumer devices and non-managed business devices and business devices that are not managed by IT departments. So just take note of that. And if you were experiencing that issue and obviously you want to sort your machine out and hurry up the process, what I always suggest is restart your device. Don't shut it down, restart your device and that should have resolved the issue and that blue screen of death then should have been sorted out according to Microsoft. So hopefully there's no more known issues that that latest update is causing. And the list goes on. It seems that every known issue that Microsoft fixes for 24H2, two new known issues um, make their way to the front of the queue, so to speak. So a bit unfortunate. But nonetheless, at least this has been sorted out sooner than later. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.